Welcome back to 369 Crypto. Today we've got another Theta Mainnet 2.0 update. We're also going to take a look at some updates from the Telegram group for Theta Network as well as download and install an edge catcher node. But before we move on, I want to make sure everybody gets the information that they need. So just kindly hit the subscribe button. Right next to the subscribe button is a notification bell that will give you updates right when they come up when we have new video or content over here at 369 Crypto. You know, check out our channel on YouTube. But if you're a subscriber, you got it right away. Moving on, we've got uh, Theta Network Mainnet 2.0 updates. Uh, this is the main page for Theta Networks. Uh, I do want to take a look at the intro page and talk about what's happening. This is from a little while ago, but uh, it kind of explains uh, what is Theta Network. And I'll put a link in the description for this, the Medium channel for Theta, uh, Theta Labs. And you can take a look at yourself. Kind of just the BFT, I got to look that one up. That's uh, a practical Byzantine fault tolerance. So... You can look up that in the description as well. But what I want to talk about today is uh, the Theta token and Theta fuel. The Theta token um, has a staking mechanism in it, and the Theta fuel is what you get paid for staking it. Uh, the operation of the Theta fuel pro protocol, T fuel, is used for on chain operations like page payments to edge node relayers for sharing a video stream or for deploying or interacting with smart contracts. Relayers, that would be you as the uh, Theta Edge node or Guardian node. Uh, relayers earn T fuel for every video stream they relate to other users on the network. You can think of this as gas of the protocol. There were 5 billion T fuel at the genesis of the Theta blockchain, and the supply increases annually at a fixed percentage set to the protocol level. Currently, it is at 5%. But first, what we're going to do is download a wallet. So, from the top of the main page for thetatoken.org, you see this wallet tab. We're going to click on that. And that's going to open up this page. Now, this is where you can import a wallet or you can create a new one. And we're going to choose to create a new wallet in this case. I have one on my mobile, but I want to create one on the desktop to facilitate the, uh, the node. So we're going to create a wallet. Then we set a password here and, and then re-enter the password. And then we're going to click here and that will download a key store. So I've entered my password. I'm going to click the I understand that it cannot recover or reset password or the key store file. Not your keys, not your crypto. This is one of those cases. So make sure you have these stored properly. So we're going to click on download key store at this point. So I'm saving my key store to a file folder called temporary. Next step here, we're going to have our mnemonic phrase. These are the seed phrase or the seed words to unlock your wallet in case you get locked onto out of it or these are the phrases the words that you use to import a wallet to another device when i click on this continue button it's going to reveal these seed words right here and i'm going to secure them by writing them down or whatever the safest method you choose to secure your seed words and uh, i will put a video in the description uh, as well about the importance of seed words but for right now i'm going to pause the video uh, record these seed words and activate my wallet. And now our wallet is unlocked or ready to do transactions or set up the edge catcher node. I want to just go over the features of this wallet real quick. This is the main page of it. it shows your data tokens and then T fuel. Send on that function. Click out of that. Receive. Copy your address or use a QR code. Um, your staking history here. And then settings. You change your password, that sort of thing. Log out is right here. That will use this password to get in and out of it. So we'll go back to the main page for this, the wallet page. Next step we're going to do is we're going to set up the Theta Guardian node. So from the thetatoken.org site, uh, the Guardian program, we'll go over that real quick. The Guardian program is a Guardian node, uh, a little bit bigger than the Edge Catcher node. So basically, the qualifications for running a Guardian node is 10,000 Theta tokens internet speed of five uh, megabits per second and up, four core or more and eight gigabytes of memory. So what can I earn if I run a Guardian node? Depends on uh, the different uh, scales of it, but basically you start at 10,000 theta to stake and then depending on traffic and everything else, it's, uh, it's new, so we're still working on it. I don't have uh the amount to start a guardian node today and you probably don't either so what we're going to do is 
start with an edge catcher node, which is .org main page. We scroll down, not Steve. The founder of YouTube is one of the founders of this uh, Theta Labs. So the guardian nodes are in the middle of the page. If you scroll down past Steve, and then uh, you like live network stats, you can kind of move this around a little bit and see what's going on with the different networks on the system right now. And here's where we want to be, download Theta Edge node. We're going to do this one for Windows. We also have it for Mac. I believe it's only for desktop situations, but uh, don't quote me on that. Or leave me a, a comment and, and uh, if you do know the answer to that. So we're going to download this for Windows right now. Already have one downloaded. So we are just going to go to the desktop and open up that Edge node. So I'm going to minimize this screen and go back to my wallet. And so we've entered our wallet address and we're going to click the sign up. Ooh, cool. So this is the edge node. Um, I've never done this before, so this is pretty cool. So this is the Theta edge node uh, beta version. As you can see, it's already toggled to on. So we're going to allow the, uh, the relaying of bandwidth. And then I've hooked it up to my wallet. That's my wallet address there. We can double check. Those two addresses are matched up. And then a lot of folks have some questions about the pre-Guardian node. It requires 0.006 T fuel to set up. I've talked to the admins and some of the devs in the Telegram group. Uh, Telegram group for Theta, I'll leave in the description as well. But they are saying that this is not necessary at this time, that when uh, you do just start staking 10,000 for the Guardian node. There's no, it's not necessary anymore to set up the pre-Guardian node. After mainnet 2.0 launch, all you need is the edge node or just uh, install your Guardian node. And again, for the Guardian node, you're going to need 10,000 Theta tokens to start that up. So I'm gonna minimize the uh, edge node. And I wanna go over some updates from the Telegram group since I have that up. Uh, this is from the pinned post at uh, the Telegram network or the Telegram page for uh, Theta Network. So this kind of goes over a little bit of if you had tokens from uh, the original mainnet after March 12th, those switch, you should switch those over to a new wallet. If you haven't done that, you can check that out in the Telegram group. Another question that came up, uh, Patrick, or actually Koki asked, after staking getting the uh, the Guardian node to work on the test net, can I unstake and continue to be a Guardian node subsequently? And the answer to that, no, Guardian nodes get paid to work, not to do nothing. So the same computer can be a Guardian node and an Edge node as long as your internet is good enough and the computer is powerful enough. So that's some of the quick questions on the Guardian node as compared to the Edge node. So just in review, if you go to the main net or the main page for uh, Theta token, uh, Guardian nodes right here, join today, you need 10,000 Theta tokens to stake right there. And if you go down past the network update, you can get the Theta Edge node for Mac or Windows desktop. And then at the top, be sure to set up your wallet from the wallet page, uh, your key store file to recover, or if you scroll to the bottom, you can create a new wallet. And that is our update for Theta Token for this broadcast. If you have any questions on this, please leave a comment and we'll get back to you. We'll go and check it out. Definitely, if you're interested, join the uh, Telegram group for Theta. A lot of great information there as well. Thanks a lot, everybody. Good luck out there. Let us know how the, the streaming's going. Awesome.